Hey, what's up everybody? This is John here at the race shop. And today we're gonna to talk about balancing the rotating assembly on our 632 nine degree, which is our house, mo house motor. It's gonna be in our 2015 Miller Dragster. First off, we got a set of these Cali's Ultra I-Beam rods, six, 700 in length. We use these things all the time on all of our builds. They're a great product. And this is all from big block, small block, and LS base, LT as well. Next is our bearings. We typically try to stay with Clevite bearings. We do offer ACLs as well. Next will be Total Seal rings. They've been really great with us on all bases, whether it's NA, nitrous, or boosted application. Total Seal is the way to go. And as far as pistons, Vic with Wisco has helped us out on this deal and worked with us on getting this custom piston made. As you can tell, the machine work is very, very nice. And the next step will be to get all this weight out, get our bob weight, and start balancing. All right, as the last segment showed, we're going to get ready to balance our rotating assembly. We're going to use the CWT Industries Multi-Balance 5500. Uh, Mario here, he's our balancing tech, and he'll be tackling this deal, and we'll show you a fast-forwarded view of this deal. All right, we got the crankshaft on our balancer here. Mario's putting on the bob weights. These are made up with uh, existing parts that are on the build. You're rods, your bearings, your rings, your pins, your locks, and your pistons. Uh, that all comes up to a bob weight. We recreate that bob weight, put it on the crankshaft, and here we are spinning it, getting all of our measurements down, and seeing where we land at. Uh, here we have the crankshaft. Uh, Mario has already put heavy metal in it uh, at this combination and this crankshaft we had actually add heavy metal and so he's already installed it and he's going to take off another about 10-15 grams. We kind of overshoot the heavy metal so we can go back and get it closer with the drill bit. Here once the heavy metal is installed and the crankshaft is completely balanced, we go back and TIG weld the heavy metal to the crankshaft. Uh, not only is it pressed in with the interference, but it is welded as well as another safety precaution to keep that heavy metal inside and not outside the oil pan. Uh, here Mario is doing a final cleaning on the crankshaft to make sure we get every uh, piece of oil or debris or fine particle off the crankshaft before we polish it. We'll use the various different belts to get a polished finish the way we want it and make sure that the surface and the bearing is as smooth as possible. Alright, Mario is changing polishing belts and going to a smoother polishing belt. We got it out. As you can see, we have it turning on our lathe at 70 RPMs, about as slow as we can get it. And we'll be doing the polishing process, and this will be the final end step for this crankshaft. Uh, here you can see the crankshaft in its final polished stage. As you can see, the journals are nice and polished, and our next step will be in the engine assembly room and Daryl putting the final touches.